so if we if we understand money is a byproduct of all these things, right? Yep. Why so many people don't muster up the courage to have the discipline to do the things most people won't do so they can get the money and they can have a little bit of freedom? Like, I'm pretty sure... What's that name? Harriet Tubman, what they said? If, if um, Harriet Tubman would have freed so many more slaves if they, if they knew they were mm -hmm. slaves, right? I'm pretty sure you teaching about stocks mm -hmm. and about just creating economic freedom. Mm-hmm. And your platform is it's good. Mm -hmm. But imagine if so many the people that who saw you and didn't pass by just wanted to listen. It would be so it would be so much more. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering why why are so many people overlooking this and, and not seeing the, the value in it? Freedom look different to everybody. Everybody freedom don't look the same. Mm. It says that a man on a dying bed got one wish, but a man that's healthy got a million wishes, a mm. thousand wishes. Mm. Freedom looks different to everybody. So for some people, freedom is, you know, having all my bills on auto pay. That's freedom. Somebody else's freedom is being able to travel the world, not worrying about bills. For some people, freedom is, I just want to retire right. Freedom looks different to everybody. And we got to give people what their version of freedom is and honor that. So for me, the, on my platform, you'll never see me talk about millions of dollars. You'll always see me talk about freedom. What's your freedom price? Mm. Because what happens is we start to project our vision and our goals on everybody else. And then what happens is when people feel that life, they not fit a lot of times. It's not because they're failing at their own goals. They're feeling they're trying to be somebody else. So you've adapted J goals, you've adapted trap goals, you've adapted this man goals, you've adapted the Migos goals, you've adapted the goals that Floyd Mayweather got all this money and all these women. That's your freedom, not that's your goal, but that ain't your real goal. You just adapted that goal because you have yet to sit down and say, what does freedom look like to me? All right, that's the thing about Instagram and social media. Our brain gets bombarded with so many visuals. It gets bombarded with so much stuff. And the more we download all this content, we get further and further away from who we really are. We get further and further away from our own thought processes. We get further and further away from our true emotional state. We get further and further away from what God really is. We get further and further away of what love really is. So we start looking at people and saying, that's my couple goals. When you don't know that man, he might be beating the piss out of her mm -hmm. off the camera. She, they may be good actors. What happens is the more we download the content, and I was re, I would listen to this thing called a social dilemma, and it says that the way Instagram and these social media platforms is designed is to make you change a little bit every day. Until you a little bit every day. So if you go look at the average person, I told my team, I said, I need y'all to judge me. They was like, for what? I said. My screen time is at 17 hours a day. I need to get that down. They was like, well, we, I said, I'm about to just start. Now I know what I'll do. I'll trick myself into doing this. I'm doing market research. Mm -hmm. I'm studying the platform. I'm studying the content. Man, get your ass off that shit. Get off of it. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been doing. Getting my screen time down. All right, Trap, you got 700 books. Do market research right there. Trap, you got 200 audio books on your phone. Do market research right there. Get off that goddamn phone. Mm. You got 17 hours on one phone. You got three hours on one phone. That's 20 hours. What we doing, bro? Mm. You feel me? And so when you start to be like, man, I don't really know who I am because you done took, you follow 200 people. You listening to this. You done took in everybody else's content. You getting further and further away from your thoughts, your goals, your ideas. Your identity. You get further, and the further you get away from that, now you got people. You wonder why everybody dress the same. You wonder why everybody look the same. You wonder why everybody have the same conversation because everybody downloading the same content and everybody looking for praise from everybody who look like them, sound like them, talk like them. But yet we all think we got freedom of speech. Mm. We all think we individuals, but yet we only replicating certain things. So how do you break away from that? That's why when you see certain people, you be like, ooh, it's something different about that person. 
I can promise you they read. So that's what I like. I read a lot, bro. I read. I disconnect. I'll get on the gram. I'll even YouTube. I'll get on there. I'll put my content up. I engage with my people. It's off. Audible book. Read my book. That's, you start to find your voice. You get to find your perspective. You get to find your ideas. You get to tap into that. But if not, what happens is the minute somebody disagrees with you, guess what you feel like you got to do? I got to, I got to, uh-uh. Let me, let me, let me handle this comment. You can have a thousand positive comments. That mm -hmm. one negative comment in there, you about to address that. Mm -hmm. Bro, why are we addressing this? Why? So the further we get away from ourselves, just to get back to that, um, again, it goes back to one, environment and standards. And two, it goes to how far are you from your identity? Mm. How far is a person from their voice? Think about when we look at the movie Get Out, right? And when dude was in that proverbial sunken place, right? Think about Instagram. Think about social media. Think about these platforms as he was still able to operate in the body, but mentally and spiritually, it wasn't him. Mm -mm. Somebody else was controlling him. Man, just think about how many people walk around here just like that. The minute they get up, they hit that phone. That's the equivalent to that. Bink. As soon as they get up, wake up. They don't wake up. Thank you, God. <sighs> this first breath of fresh air, I wasn't promised this, but you gave it to me. You saw something in me that felt like I deserve this breath, this breath of fresh air. I'm going to just take five minutes to be thankful for that. You know, we don't do that. We take that for granted. Guess what we do? I don't. Damn, late for work. Let me get up, go brush my teeth right quick. Right? That's the... You went to it. You're here. And the further you get into it, the further you... The problem is you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. And here's what I can bet you. I can guarantee you this. If we put 10 people in the room, eight of them at least tell themselves once a week, man, I'm going to get off this thing so much. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going to stop spending so much time on that thing. Man, I need to be doing some other stuff. I keep procrastinating. You procrastinate. Yep, you are procrastinating, but you spent three hours on that phone. You're in, a, you're in a sunken place. You don't lost your voice. You don't lost your vision. You don't lost your identity. And you basing, you're basing the things that you reward yourself with based on who's giving you accolades in the comments. Mm -hmm. So if the post don't get enough likes, you hide the likes. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't care. That thing <clears> get 30 likes. I got a million, three, million three people following me. Bro, you could go, you could see some get 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, some got 100. Guess what? I don't care. I don't care. Right? So the further we get away from who we are, the further we lose our voice, and people ain't gonna agree with it. But what happens is denial is a way of saying, like, there's somebody in my front porch. And most people say, I'm an alcoholic, but I'm a functioning alcoholic. No, you're an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. You're not, not going to dress it up. You're an alcoholic and you need to stop, right? Because what I've learned about alcohol is unlike, unlike Coke, unlike heroin, a person who's been drinking alcohol for so long, if you take them off alcohol, it'll kill them. Mm. It'll kill them. A person who's been on alcohol for so long, you can't even just take them off alcohol. You got to ease them off it because it'll kill them. It have messed up the chemical imbalance in their body. Bro, this shit done messed up people chemical imbalance, man. And so we so far away from ourselves, bro. We, don't, we looking for people to validate how we think, how we talk, how we speak. And when we don't get somebody to validate that, the minute somebody go against that, bro, we won't nut up on them on that. Again, let's go back to what we talked about earlier. We don't give each other grace for nothing. We don't, we don't care to understand each other. I sit here listening to another black man, bro. I'm not listening to you just to out talk in your podcast. I'm going to take in your question. Mm. I'm going to put it in my head and so I can give you the best possible answer I can give you. 